guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions Tips and Tricks Thursdays. Today I have a shopping haul for you guys and I also have tips and tricks of when shopping online on extremely cheap websites. So let's jump right to it. So a few weeks ago I came across this website called Shein. She, you spell it Shein. I think you pronounce it Shein. I'm not sure if I'm getting that right. I hope I am. Anyways, so I came across this website and they have so many things to buy and the prices are amazing. I think it's coming from China. I tried to look around the website where the things, the clothes are coming from. I couldn't find anything in the about us or contact us, I don't know. So most likely it is coming from there. So yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff and there's actually two things that I bought that did not fit. So I sent that back even though they were like 12 bucks, but whatever. 12 bucks I can use for something else. So, so I bought two bathing suits and literally they were like 10 bucks each. Let me show it to you guys. So the first one is this one. I actually wore it on the cruise I just went on recently and I have two pictures with it on Instagram. So you can check out how that looks on all my pictures right here it's just super cute i love this ruffle top it looks so nice second one is i'm actually obsessed with neon colors now and especially when you have like a nice tan it looks so cute on so i bought this one boom and this is how the top is i'm not a fan so much of the cut just because when you get a tan it's like a weird tan somewhat i don't know but i made it work i just put the straps down like this and i tanned just fine boom each 10 bucks perfect come up now let's go into the clothes that i bought so i bought three tops i bought this one i'm gonna just throw it to the side i bought this tube tops i love tube tops if you know me i am always wearing tube tops they're just so comfortable and with this heat in Florida, you know, it's it's annoying. So, two tops are my go-to. I just add some nice statement earrings, cute little necklace, and boom, you have an outfit. And this one, it's a yellow one. I actually don't own that many yellow items, yellow clothes, but recently I have been trying new colors that I'm not really used to and Yellow and purple is one of them. So I also got this set. All right, let me like tie it. So it's a cute little top. You like tie it over here. Cute little, you tie it, crop top. And these are the matching pants. They're kind of like Palooza pants. I call them Palooza pants. I don't know what you guys would call them. They are kind of big on me, but I make it work. So you tie it right there and boom. So it's just very loose and I have a cute little cut right in like the middle, like where the leg is, right there, a cute little cut. Looks very nice on. And one of my favorite items that I purchased was this polka dot dress. I have a thing now for polka dots. Clearly I am wearing polka dots right now. Look like a little Mickey Mouse right now, mini. Tighten it. So you, okay, so it looks super cute on. It looks like a set, but it's actually a dress. So skirt part in the bottom, boom. In here, super cute. So your stomach does show a little bit like right here in the middle. Very cute, very cute. Now, let me show you the accessories that I bought. And I love, I think I've mentioned this, I'm really big on statement earrings now and they can be pricey sometimes they go for like good brands they go for like 40 bucks and i mean just on earrings like i tried to like keep it on the cheap side and shein actually has them for like one or two dollars literally one or two dollars i did not pay more than three dollars for these earrings that i'm about to show you guys so the first one these these cute little tassel earrings, so cute with a little diamond. Love it, I freaking love it. Then I got these purple ones. Look how cute. I got these blush ones that I have worn a lot actually. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me with these on lately. And then I bought this star and moon one. I have yet to wear them. 
And I bought another sun and moon one that I have not worn either. I will one day. And yep, that is it for accessories. That is it for clothes for now. So since it was my first time purchasing on this website, I was actually scared of like wasting more than $100 because I didn't know how the items were gonna look on me, if the fabric was good or like, if I would even get the, <laughs> get the order, right? Or get the order um, at all. So I definitely didn't wanna go crazy with the shopping. Um, I do recommend when shopping in these cheap websites to always go down, scroll to the bottom and look at the reviews from people who have already purchased the item. If the item does not have any review, it doesn't matter how cute it is. I mean, I would, I don't know if I would take my chances, but I tried not to do it. So I only bought items that actually had reviews on the bottom that people had already purchased and they were talking about how it fits, how the sizes run, what they like, what they don't like. They even put pictures of how it looks on them so you have an idea of how the outfit's gonna look on you. And I find that really helpful. So definitely when shopping online on a cheap site, look at reviews. If the item that you want does not have a review, don't, it depends if you wanna take a chance or not, I wouldn't, but whatever. Um, definitely do that, that's very, very important. And what else? And yeah, and since it's your first, if it's your pr first purchase in a cheap website coming from China, definitely don't go overboard for the first time. Like, stay under a hundred. Once you get the items, then you try it on, and you have an idea of how the website works and how things fit. Then definitely after that, you know, you can shop a little bit more and you can waste a little bit more money. But for the beginning, you know. Don't go crazy on the shopping on the website yet. And what else? Also, always make sure that the website is legit. This website obviously is legit. I had read other reviews online. I've watched other review videos. It has an about us and it looked legit and people recommended it so I know it was a real website. Also, make sure that the website gives you an option to return the item because if you do order it, even if it's 10 bucks, you know it's 10 bucks that you could save after or use it for something else. So make sure there's a return option where you can send the item back if it doesn't fit. Not all the clothes run the same size. Something in the small might not fit you in another item as a small, you have to get a medium. That definitely happened to me. I had like mediums and smalls in my cart. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.